All right, today we're going to solve two-step equal inequalities. So it just works like an equation. First, you got to get rid of your addition or subtraction. So I have 3y plus 6 is less than 12. So I need to get rid of that plus 6. So the opposite of plus 6 is minus 6. So I'm going to subtract 6 from both sides. So I get 3y is less than 12 minus 6 is 6. Now I got to get rid of the 3 times y. So the opposite of 3 times is divide. So I can divide both sides by 3, keep my inequality balanced, so I get y is less than 3. And I can put this back into my original inequality in that 3 times 3 plus 6 is less than 12. So 3 times 3 is 9. plus 6 is less than 12, 9 plus 6 is 15, which is less than 12. That's not a true statement. I made a mistake. I need to go back and see what I did wrong. So I look at my work. I subtracted 6, 12 minus 6 is 6, that's good. And then I divided by 3, 6 divided by 3 I said is 3. That's not true. 6 divided by 3 is 2. So now I go back to my check and change that 3 to a 2. So it has to be less than 2. So if I use 2, it's going to be equal, but, we need, but we'll check and see what happens. So 3 times 2 is 6. So 6 plus 6 is 12. Well, 12 isn't less than 12. It equals 12. So if I put any number that's less than 2 in there, I would have got the correct answer. So let's pick a number less than 2. Let's say it's 0. So we do 3 times 0 plus 6 is less than 12. So 3 times 0 is 0, plus 6 is less than 12, and 6 is less than 12. So that is a true statement. So when you're checking inequalities, you have to use a number that is either greater than or less than, depending on the symbol you have there. Alright, now I have 3p minus 5 is greater than or equal to 4. So first step, get rid of that subtraction. So I'm going to add 5 to both sides. So I get 3p is greater than or equal to 4 plus 5 is 9. So now I've got to divide by 3 on both sides. So I get p is greater than or equal to 9 divided by 3 is 3. So here I have the equal to in there. So I can use that 3. I don't have to use something greater, but I can to check this answer. So let's say I use a number greater than 3. Let's say I use 5. So 3 times 5 minus 5 is greater than or equal to 4. So 3 times 5 is 15, minus 5 is greater than or equal to 4. 15 minus 5 is 10. 10 is greater than or equal to 4. So that's a true statement. Alright, so now I have 7b minus 6 is less than or equal to 36. So again, get rid of that subtraction first. So I'm going to add 6 to both sides. Keep my equation balanced. So I get 7b is less than or equal to 36 plus 6 is 42. So the opposite of times 7b is divided by 7. So I get b is less than or equal to 42 divided by 7 is 6. So here I'm going to go ahead and use the 6 in my check. So I get 7 times 6 minus 6 is less than or equal to 36. So 7 times 6 is 42 minus 6 is less than or equal to 36. 42 minus 6 is 36, which is less than or equal to, it is equal to, 36. All right, one more example. So I have x divided by negative 5 plus 8 is greater than 2. So again, first step, get rid of the addition. So I'm going to subtract 8 from both sides. Remember, you can think of subtracting 8 as adding a negative 8. So I have x divided by negative 5 is greater than 2 plus negative 8, different signs, I need to subtract them. So 8 minus 2 is 6, and 8 is bigger than 2 as an absolute value, so I keep its sign, which is negative. So I get x divided by negative 5 is greater than negative 6. So now, I have to undo the divide by negative 5. So in order to do that, I have to multiply by negative 5. 
So I'm left with just x on the left, and I multiply it by a negative, so I need to flip that inequality sign, and then 6 times 5 is 30, and then a negative and negative make positive. So x has to be a number less than 30. So let's check that. So a number less than 30, we'll just say 10. Make it easy on yourself. Use friendly numbers. So 10 divided by negative 5 plus 8 is greater than 2. So 10 divided by negative 5 is going to be negative 2 plus 8 is greater than 2. So negative 2 plus 8, subtract those, you get 6. 8 is positive and has greater absolute value, so I keep it positive. So I get 6 is greater than 2, which is a true statement.